Okay, I'm good to talk, everyone. And Bershus, the Mordasra, Rav Bowski. Um, I am excited to speak to all of you, and a hearty appetite while you're eating. Uh, the, the holiest place on earth, the holiest place on earth, is a place called the Kodesh Kadoshim, the Holy of Holies. We learned about it in this week's parasha, Truma. It was only entered once a year and only by one person on earth, on the planet, the Kohen Gadol. And even on that day, the Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the year, the Kohen Gadol, one of the holiest people in the world, was not allowed to enter it except when he was doing a certain avoda. Right? He just couldn't walk in. Now, there was a very wicked man. His name was Titus. Titus Harasha. And he said, I want to see what's going on in that room. That room? Nobody else can see it? I want to see. You know, when they had to do repairs in the room, they lowered the carpenter down from an upstairs attic. There was an attic over the Kodesh Kedoshim. And they lowered him down in a box. And in the box, he was able to stick his hands out that he shouldn't see more of the room than he had to. So Titus said, I want to see that room. And he went, and he conquered the base of Mikdash, and he was very disappointed. All he saw in that room was a box. It had the luchos, the tablets, it had a little Torah, and on top of it were the kruvim in the shape of a boy and a girl. He said, what's this? What's so holy about this? He didn't understand that the holiest thing in the world is pure children learning Torah. That's the holiest thing in the world. That's what's in our holy of holies. You come to learn Torah, you should know, it's the holiest thing. You know, people say, oh, I'm going to go to Eitzel, I'm going to go to the Kosel. It's nice to go to the Kosel. But the holiest thing in the world is you boys sitting and learning. Now, on top of the Oren, there was a crown. Zer Zahav Saviv. It was a crown of gold all around it. Now, crown is worn by kings. By kings. Now, there are different crowns. There's different royalty in Yiddishkeit. There's royalty of kings like David HaMelech and Shlomo HaMelech. And there are kings. And then there are Kohanim. There's the Keser Kahuna. But they're only in the Kodesh. Those crowns were in the holies. The Shulchan, the table, had a crown that was for royalty, for kings. And the Mizbech Azov, the golden altar, had a crown that was for Cain. The only crown that was in the Holy of Holies is the crown of Torah. That's the greatest royalty in Yiddishkeit. It's the greatest royalty. And guess what? You all could become kings. All of you. All of you kings. You know what it means to be a king? You study enough Torah... And you wear a crown. The Gemara says, Man Malke, who are our kings? Rabbanon. The people that learn Torah, those are our kings. You could all become, now, how do you do it? You know, I grew up and I went to yeshiva and I studied in yeshiva and I was in yeshiva sometimes. In the winter, in, you know, in New York, tonight it's snowing. In New York, I didn't know whether it snowed the entire winter or not, because I never left the building. I was learning all the time. The more you learn, the more you have a chance to become a king. And, you know, you don't realize it now. But what you learn now, the best time to learn is when you're young. It's called Girsa di Yankasa, the learning of your young age. You know, when I learn things now, Rabbi Rabowski learns things now, we forget. 
because we're older. But it says when you're young, your mind is like a sponge. And it absorbs. It, it, it keeps it. So you shouldn't waste time. You should use this time to learn Torah. And, and, and I'll tell you another thing. Listen carefully. When you have a question, don't be embarrassed to ask. It says, Lo habayishon lama. Some people, they're embarrassed to ask questions. Those people, they don't get a complete picture of their learning. Because they're always embarrassed to ask. Don't be embarrassed to ask. Rebbe, I don't understand this. Rebbe, why? That's why you have a Rebbe. You have a question? Ask. You want to know something? Ask. Uh, since I'm here in Florida, I want to te- teach you another thing. It says that we should thank Hashem for the special things that we get. We should thank Hashem for the special things that we get. Do you know that I'm here in Florida since Wednesday night and I didn't have to put on my coat once. I came into Florida, I had a big heavy coat and a scarf around my neck. I didn't need it. Now, you could take that for granted or you could say if I was in, if I was in New York now I would go out and it was freezing cold. And you know, when it's cold, it makes you more tired. And when you get up to go to school, you have to get up in the cold. You don't feel like going outside. Here it's so nice. Don't forget to say thank you for that. When you say in Shemayin Esrei Modim, say thank you Hashem. You know, I'm living in a special place. It's nice outside. You know, a lot of boys your age get sick because it's very cold. They get sick. They have to go to the doctor. They have to be put on antibiotic. The antibiotic gives them a stomach ache. It's no fun. You're not getting sick because the weather is so nice outside. Say thank you to Hashem for that. Don't take it for granted. It's a big thing. Chavis says, Dvarim Shirotze Lahas Things that you want to continue, I'll tiff Don't take them for granted. Say thank you for things. You know, I go to certain Ovis Abanim, certain Dor Dor programs. They don't have pizza. They only have pizza at special times. You have pizza? That's great. It's great. Say thank you for it. Now, by the way, on the pizza, what bracha do we make afterwards? Not on a pizza. An alamichia, right? Is somebody going to make an alamichia for them? Uh, we try to get a volunteer. We'll see if we can find them. Okay. Well, we have an adult that had one, a pizza. Yeah. Yeah. An alamichia is a very good thing because we thank Hashem afterwards. We thank Hashem for our food before we eat it and afterwards. By the way, it's a good idea to thank your mother before. And afterwards, you come in, on a, on a Friday night, you come in, and the Shabbos table is set so beautiful. Thank you, Mommy. And then at the end of the meal, <laughs> Mommy, that was really good. Thank you, Mommy. It's a good idea to say thank you, Mommy. Do you do that often? Do you say thank you, Mommy? You should. You should say thank you, Daddy. Or thank you, Abba. It was very, it, the food is very expensive. So learn to say thank you. And to say thank you to Hashem. You know what happens? I'll tell you something. If you do a favor for one of your friends and they don't say thank you, you don't feel like doing another favor for them. Some one of your friends is sick and you got, you got his homework and you went to his house and you didn't even bother to say thank you. You don't feel like doing it again. That's the way it is. You want people to want to do things for you? Be appreciative. Say thank you. And say thank you to Hashem. When do we say thank you to Hashem? When we make brachas. When you bench, you're saying thank you. When you say modim and shmon esve, you're saying thank you. Learn to say thank you. That's why we're called Yehudim. Yehudim are people that say thanks. That's what Yehudim mean. We're people that know how to say thank you. Goyim don't know how to say thank you all the time. They don't know how to say thank you. 
Bavli. Do you ever get candies in shul? Yeah. You make sure to say thank you. Right? You, you, have, you have English studies? In school? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever say thank you to your English teacher? Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a good thing to do. Right? You do it often, right? Nah. <laughs> nah. Well, yes, the for us. What? Well, yes, the baby for us. Oh, good. Then, then, then you're, then you're <laughs> top notch. Then I'm proud of you. Well, I thank you all for listening to me. And I, in the name of the Rav, I want to give you all a bracha that you should grow up to be Tamidi Chachamim, Yirei Shemayim. You should always have good friends. And you should always be happy. Have a good Tavach. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.